Hey guys, this is Skylar. I am completely blind. I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Today I'm going to be talking about things. Um, I'm going to be talking about why I don't like to be told to take a deep breath. Now, if you hear any noise in the background, it might be my mom, it might be the dogs, I'm sorry. But today we're going to be talking about why I don't like to be told to take a deep breath. Now, um, before I get into that, I have a nurse trained mother. Before I um, fell ill in 2009, I'm pointing to my chest because we didn't know I had a heart condition. <laughs> Before I fell ill in 2009, my mom was in nursing school, and I'm not going to give you all the details because that's really not my business. But she was in nursing school, and so but she dropped out once I fell ill, like a good mom should, right? But what I'm saying is being nurse trained, <clears throat> she knows a lot about medicine and the body and how the body works and blah, 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 which is really good. And she knows about blood pressure, glucose, things like that. Anyways, so having a nurse trained mother in the house and going to the hospital occasionally and going to get lab done monthly, um, it you're going to hear the phrase take a deep breath thrown at you occasionally. Like just this week, I was stuff, suffering from how do you word this nicely? Stopped up uh, clogged bowels. I could not um, relieve myself because of my stopped up bowels. And my mom was telling me, take a deep breath. And I can understand why she says that because taking a deep breath, it actually does relax your exit valve. But however, deep breaths, they don't really help me much. Unless, like, I'm winded or something and I really need a deep breath. But, um, this is, like, why I don't like to be told to take a deep I kind of touched on this in a, in a video called Breathe Again, but, yeah. Um, okay, right. When I was nine, I went, I started going to the Texas School for the Blind. That would have been in 2000 and... 2001? <clears throat> it was pretty early 2000s because I was a 90 kid. 90s kid sorry so um when i was nine years old i went to the texas school for the blind okay and as soon as i went there because i was in elementary they didn't give you like i they didn't tell you choices on what you could sign up for they didn't say do you want to sign up for this class or this class you can stay out of this no mm -mm. they signed you up for everything including why O G A Yoga. Yoga did nothing for nothing. Nothing. Nothing for me. The only thing that yoga did for me was <laughs> it gave me another venue in which I could make my friends laugh. <laughs> like I remember my uh, instructor telling us to like um she had us do some pose where we sit and reach our hands forward. And she goes, reach, reach, and I go, reach like a peach, and all my friends busted out laughing. <laughs> Sorry. So all yoga did was give me an uh, uh, invitation to be a comedian. <laughs> so, <laughs> and one day I told my yoga teacher, I was like, you're killing me. So yeah, laughter definitely is all it did. Nothing else, really. And I did the poses exactly the way she told me, and like she even helped you do the pose. Like she put you in the positions, like with her body, she adjusted you. I guess it's called. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. In yoga, anyways. All right. So when I was thirteen, or moving on, actually twelve. Um, I had a doormate. I'm not gonna say her name, but she was another student. And me and her were like oil and water, like gasoline and fire, like cats and dogs day and night, toothpaste and cigarettes. Um, what I'm trying to say is we did not get along, okay? We did not get along. We did not get along. 
I don't think she understood my autism, but yeah, I'm just saying. Anyway, so one day, um, she, me and this dorm mate, she was waiting at, at the school for her dad to come and pick her up. And I was waiting for my owner or my teacher to take me to the bus so I could be bused back home. Cause I was bused home on Friday and then back to school on Sunday. Anyways, so this dorm mate, this other student, she goes, take a deep breath. Cause I was kind of stressed out over something. And I was like, deep breaths don't help me. You know, I'm kind of, I really like the Spanish word for um, the color black. Is it okay if I say that instead? Because deep breaths don't really help me. She goes, no, take a deep breath in anyway. And then she began to physically block my body from getting out of my room like she stood in front of me like her body was shaped like an x like i don't know if you could see me. i'm gonna try to demonstrate what she did she stood in front of me like that and like in front of the doorway look i couldn't get out of my room so i finally managed to squeeze my fat corpse out from behind hers and I ran, well not ran, but I I walked to my teacher and by that time I was probably hyperventilating because I was, I was crying because she blocked me in my room. My teacher was able to calm me down by mentioning a few of my favorite words. <clears throat> then we were able to get past the situation. Um, and now instead of, instead of taking deep breaths, what I do is I make the sissing sound, which is like, like what a snake makes. And that actually relaxes your body. When you, when you go like, it relaxes your body. It really, truly, 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 truly does. Try it. And yeah, even if you're suffering from clogged up bowels, try making that sizzling sound and it'll relax your muscles. Um, so like I told mom a couple of weeks ago when she told me to take a deep breath to try to, you know, relax my exit valve, uh, I, I told her that instead of taking a deep breath, making the sizzling sound works for me. It helps me to relax. For me, always the uh, every almost every time I like I have two relaxation CDs for children, and both of them tell you to take deep breaths. And every time it calls for a deep breath, I don't take it. Instead, I make the the sissing sound, like like what a snake does, and that actually helps me to physically relax. And even during blood draws, sissing sounds are good because they they help you relax. just know you know deep breaths don't really work for everybody and a lot of anger management stories for children they tell you to take them they don't work they don't work for me especially in the lab when I'm getting blood drawn or IVs and crap put in mm -mm. they don't work so but sissing it does work for me so hope that you enjoyed this video maybe it was able to help you and God bless.